Uh, Dr. Polite, what does leadership mean to you and what does good leadership look like? Um, again, you know, leadership, what good leadership means to me or looks like to me is the ability uh, to influence and modify the behavior of others. In other words, to get folks to follow or to get folks to do things that many times they either don't want to do, don't think they can do. Um, and so in, in, in that vein, good leadership is, I like to use the analogy of, you know, we're going to run up the hill and follow me. And you run up the hill and you look behind you and there's nobody following you versus run up the hill and two or three people pass you getting to the top. And so how do you modify? How do you influence? How do you manipulate or modify those thoughts of individuals into group type formats that allows you to be able to accomplish your organizational objective, your mission, uh, or whatever that goal is. Nice. 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 So yeah, it goes into a couple of points that you hear quite often. You know, if you uh, think you're leading and you turn around and no one's following, you're just going for a walk. I like that one from Dr. Maxwell. Yes, <laughs> and sir. I think there yes, are a sir. lot of, there's a lot of people going for a walk, unfortunately, because even referring back to Maxwell and his five levels of leadership, their only, if you want to call it level of leadership, is the baseline positional power. I can stand in between you and a paycheck. Right. And so that person's like, I, I'm, you're not leading me. I'm just being compliant so I can continue to collect this paycheck. Yeah. What do you think I, about that? Yeah, I think also organizationally, you know, the type of organization impacts, you know, you look at autocratic systems, military, uh, sporting uh, context, it's much more of an autocratic kind of mindset. And so the leader kind of takes on a different way of operating versus True. higher education, um, public schools, you know, those, those leadership styles are a little different, you know, primarily being a, you know, veteran, you know, <laughs> some of the methodologies would not be acceptable in other parameters. In other words, you know, people just, all, you know, just really, you know, getting, get, getting very excited and getting very volatile about why you did something wrong may not work well in the, in some corporate structure. So I think that, I think it's important to understand, you know, leadership has to align, you know, with, with the, with the organizational culture and which you're going to be working with. Because a military mindset or military thought or autocratic process may not be conducive at maybe Federal Credit Union or, you know, some other Amazon or whatever company you want to do, General Electric, whatever. So I think, sure. I think that that's important as well. 